My colleague Paul is joining me on the story. Paul we all can see the glitzy images on our screens at the moment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurating the Surat Diamond Bourse. And this actually has overtaken Pentagon in the United States to become the largest corporate office hub globally. That's right. Uh, the Prime Minister, of course, uh, is in Surat. He's inaugurating, uh, like you said, the Surat Diamond Bourse. It is expected to be the world's largest and most modern in uh, various terms, a center for international diamond and uh, jewelry business. It is also expected to be a global center for trading of for both rough and polished diamonds as well as jewelry. Surat, as we know, has been the hub of uh, diamond jewelry in India. It has, uh, of course, uh, you know, seen uh, you know growth uh, over many fold over the last uh, few years, uh, especially with uh, you know the BJP government that has been in power in Gujarat, focusing on the trading sector and, of course, providing them with the platform uh, that they need in order to grow into one of those uh, large sectors. And today, of course, with the opening of the Surat Diamond Board, it does become a global center for trading of both rough and polished diamonds. Uh, the board, in fact, is expected to comprise state-of-the-art customs clearance house for import, export, a jewelry mall as well for retail jewelry business, and facility of international banking and safe walls as well. So it's expected to be a major boost for the diamond industry. So that, like I said, again, one of the biggest financial hubs of uh, Gujarat, and uh, this is going to be a huge boost uh, and an impetus for the growth of uh, the diamond and jewelry business in Surat, the Prime Minister has also spoken about this uh, earlier ahead of his uh, visit for this inauguration. He, in fact, had posted on social media platform and said, quote, in Surat tomorrow, the Surat Diamond Boys will be inaugurated. This will be a major boost to the diamonds industry. The customs clearance house, the jewelry mall and facility of international banking and safe holds will be significant parts of uh, the boards. Uh, so clearly, uh, a big, big impetus uh, that the industry in Surat is receiving with the opening of this diamond board, which is expected to be one of the largest office spaces, if you may, and uh, modern centers for international diamond and jewelry business. Right, Paul, we have seen over the past many years, you know, these kind of buildings, the swanky buildings is something that has been the focus of the BJP. The policies that the party has come out with, they believe that these kind of buildings actually have multiple impact. You know, uh, they not only bring trade, also give employment to a lot of people. Absolutely. The focus has been in, you know, attracting as much investment and trade into India, giving an impetus to Made in India as well so that, you know, that, um, you know, we can import, uh, in, export the best of our uh, products uh, into the world outside, into the global uh, market. And this is basically a push in that direction to establish this massive diamond board is to, of course, give an impetus to that global trade. Now, this center in itself, this global center that we're speaking about, has been built at a cost of approximately 3,500 crore rupees. The building in itself spans about 67 lakh square feet of floor space and has the capacity to house nearly 4,500 diamond trading offices. So imagine the length and breadth of uh, this entire, um, you know, uh, uh, this entire investment that the Indian, uh, uh, you know, government has made and the trading uh, business uh, in Surat has made to give a push to this uh, business so that, you know, international markets also recognize uh, what we have. There is impetus for import, export as well. And all the ways in terms of roadblocks uh, are cleared for that business to grow. And that is the focus as far as uh, this uh, business uh, and this building is concerned. In fact, in August this year, this building, which is a part of the Diamond Research and Mercantile City, the dream uh, project as far as uh, Pruitt is concerned, was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest office building in the world. It is a mega structure which has been built over acres of land, has nine ground towers plus 15 floors with office spaces ranging from 300 square feet only to 1 lakh square feet. So you can just imagine the length and breadth of this uh, entire project. In fact, in fact uh, you know, the biggest businesses already are shifting into the space as far as, you know, diamond and jewelry are concerned. Billionaire diamond trader Vallabhai Lakhani, who is the director of Kiran James, has already shifted his 17,000 crore business to this diamond board and is also developing a mini township 
to house these employees. So like you spoke about, you know, employment generation, it, it gives a big boost to that as well. And all, everyone is now under one roof, if you may, as far as this entire business is uh, concerned. It helps us uh, project, uh, you know, the seriousness with which we're pushing our diamond and jewelry trade business. Right, Polymero, you were speaking about the fact that uh, the idea now is to make sure that from start to beginning, everything is within this curated space. In fact, the sparkling jewelry mall will also give space to the retailers and it will also make sure that their dreams come true. It's not just that. In fact, the international banking and secure walls will complete the entire picture. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it, it has taken into this entire complex and this entire structure has taken into uh, cognizance every little demand of the industry. So from setting up a business space, an office space for as many businesses, like close to about 4,500, like I said, office, offices can set up shop over here to actually setting up shop quite literally in the retail sense of it with that jewelry mall, which will be present inside this uh, diamond wars as well, uh, diamond boards as well. Uh, there will be safe walls as well. Um, you know, there will be a custom clearance house as well, which will make it very easy in terms of, uh, you know, the trade factor of uh, these uh, diamonds and jewelry are concerned in terms of import, export uh, clearances as well. So keeping in mind all of the aspects of the business and how the business can grow and grow not just domestically in the international market as well, how we can be recognized as a diamond hub. All of these aspects have been kept in mind in order to push this uh, industry, which so far was, you know, restricted in a way to Surat. You knew Surat for a diamond business, you knew Surat for a jewelry business, but the aim of the central government now is to push the idea for it into the international market so that Surat is recognized worldwide as the trade hub, as the hub of the diamond business here in India. Well, Paul, you know, we have seen how the Bharat Mandapam, if we speak about the Bharat Mandapam, the way it has been built, if we speak about Yashobhumi in Dwarka in the national capital, all these are clearly pointing towards the fact that infrastructure is one of the key things that the Bharti Janta Party is now focusing on. And the idea is to make sure that the kind of buildings, the new buildings that we are seeing are actually, uh, you know, they showcase the new India that we have been speaking about over the past many years. And, you know, Paul, we can see in the visuals, uh, you know, the swanky new building. So all this obviously pointing towards the fact uh, that in future also we'll be seeing such, you know, well-equipped buildings coming up, not just in the national capital, but in various parts of the country too. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, like you pointed out, the idea of it is to provide the infrastructure. You want an industry to grow you want the local talent to be recognized. You want it to be recognized not just domestically outside of the state, that they are to across uh, the international world. Uh, you know, you want to provide the platform. You want to provide the infrastructure. And these, you know, these complexes, these bosses, for instance, this is, of course, a diamond boss, uh, but uh, the structures that you mentioned, for instance, Bharat Mandapam, that was built keeping G20 in mind, but it is a structure that stays and can be used for various other international events, uh, you know, conferences that we're going to have in the future. India will continue to host major international events. We are, of course, pitching for those. We're lobbying for those. Some of them, of course, uh, will come to us as we assume, uh, you know, leadership of certain groups and platforms. But then we're pitching for many more events. The Prime Minister very recently pitched uh, to host the next Olympics in India as well. So when you're looking at, you know, becoming that hub where big international events come to, big international players come to, the investment comes through as well, you have to build the right kind of in infrastructure as well to attract that kind of investment and trade. And that's the idea behind, of course, a Bharat Mandapam or a Yashobhumi, as you mentioned, or this Surat Diamond Board. The idea is to build that platform saying, here we've put together this platform, we've created this space quite literally, we've moved all the roadblocks out of the way, we've um, ensured that you face least hurdles in doing business in India and we're business friendly. And the idea is to provide that platform and that is what we're doing. Uh, like I said, Surat and its diamond business was always known. It was flourishing, it was growing, 
but to give it that extra push so that it reaches international markets as well and that business which is local and homegrown reaches a global market, you needed to provide that infrastructure and to build that platform. And that's exactly what we've done with right. the building of this massive diamond board, which you said is the space is possibly larger than that of the Pentagon. Thank you, Paul, me for giving us all those details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi just inaugurated the world's largest corporate office space, the diamond, the Surat Diamond Bourse in the Surat City.